Welcome back and this is another video on the derivative of an inverse trig function. This one focuses on arc tangent x and the result of that is 1 over 1 plus x squared. Now I will delve a little bit deeper into that, what happens if it's not just x, so keep watching the video. We'll do four questions in this and they get progressively more difficult as we go through. We might be mindful that arc tan is exactly the same as saying tan to the minus 1, just depending on what course you're doing, it's just slightly different notation. So as I said, we're just going to focus on arc tan in this video. If you want to see the derivative of the other two inverse trig functions, please look at the link in the description and you'll find those two or click one of the tabs above and it will take you straight to it. So here's the four questions. If you want to pause the video now, take a screenshot and look through them, uh, then we can check your answers as I go through them. That would be great. Otherwise, we'll dive in. Okay, so don't forget that arc tan is the inverse of tan, which is exactly the same as saying tan to the minus one, slightly different notation. Now, as I said in the introduction, be careful because most textbooks say that arc tan of x is just equal to this, but they, what they're not showing you is that you have to multiply by the derivative of uh, whatever this x is. Now, in this case, the derivative of that is just one. So that's why we don't see it. But what happens when it's not just x, like it's x squared or two x or three x? Well, therefore then we have to have one over this value, this f of x squared, okay? And then times by the derivative of that, right? So we mustn't forget that because that almost uh, occurs in most questions. We just don't see it sort of expressed in many formula booklets. Question one, differentiate arctan two x with respect to x. So we're just going to use this on the right hand side here. Don't forget to times through by the derivative of the function, which is 2x. So therefore we'll get uh, one over one plus, now two x all squared is four x squared times by the derivative, which is two, resulting in two over one plus four x squared. And that is the end of question one. Question two, find the derivative with respect to x of this expression here. So we'll get one over one plus, now x squared squared is x to the four, times by the derivative of x squared. So we've got to do that now, so that's going to be two x. So be careful there then, so that's going to be two x over one plus x to the four, and that is the end of question two. Okay, question three. So we have a product here. If we draw a dotted line down through here, I can call this u and this v. So let's just go ahead and just remind ourselves that product rule can be done by saying v times the derivative of u plus u times the derivative of v. Let's just clearly uh, state what all of that is. So if u is e to the minus x, the differential of that is, well, it stays the same, but then we have to times by the derivative of the power, which is minus one. So that'd be negative E. And then we have V. So uh, V is going to be all of this, but remember we have it squared, right? So there's gonna be a chain rule element here. So we have V is arc tan uh, of X, right? And this whole thing is squared, right? So when we differentiate that, we're going to get two times, now this thing in the brackets will stay the same, which is arc tan x, right, times by the derivative of the bracket. Now the derivative of the bracket is actually going to be the th this up here. So we're going to get times by one, right, so let's just do this in times by one, and this is all going to be over, right, one plus f of x all squared. So now that's going to be, uh, that's x squared, and then we're timesing by the derivative of the f of x. But the thing is, is the derivative of this x here is just one. So we're just going to be timesing through by one again. So we don't need to worry. So we're just going to tidy that up to be two arc tan x all over one plus x squared. So let's put all of the, this into product rule here. So we're going to get V right now. V is arc tan x all squared. DU is this here. So that's gonna be negative. So let's just put a minus at the front here. And that's E to the minus x plus, right? U, which is E to the minus x 
times by dv, which was that large expression that we found over here. So it was just two. Let's just get it all in and we can tidy it up in a moment. So arctan x over one plus x squared. So it's good practice to just simply just uh, bring like any sort of negatives or exp exponents to the front. So we're going to have minus e to the minus x. And this is arctan x all squared. Uh, now we could factor out, out that if we wanted to. And then we've got plus e 2e to the minus x arctan x all over 1 plus x squared. And that is the end of question three. Okay, question four. So this is another product rule. We can see this. Uh, I think it's a little bit easier than the one before. Let's call u equal to x, u prime is equal to one. Therefore then uh, v is going to be equal to arctan 3x squared and v prime is equal to this expression over here. So it's going to be one over one plus now three x all squared is gonna be nine x to the four times by the derivative. So that'd be six x. So let's plug all of that into product rule. So we got v, well, let's just write that down v. Okay, so that will result in. So v is r tan three x squared. Uh, times du, which is just one, so I just won't write that, plus u, which is x, times dv, uh, which is going to be one over, well, it's actually, sorry, 6x times that, so it's going to be times 6x over 1 plus 9x to the 4, and we can just fi put our final line down here as arc tan, yep, 3x squared plus 6x squared all over one plus nine x to the four. And that is the end of question four. Okay, so as I stated earlier, I would just go through the brief sort of derivation of the arc tan, like the derivative being, uh, this is tan, and then we have inverse tan being the reflection in the line y equals x. So let's go ahead and state that y is equal to arc tan x. Now imagine taking a uh, tangent of both sides. So when you take tangent of arctan, you just end up with x because you're taking a like an f of x of f minus one of x. It's basically you're taking the inverse of the function. So it ends up just being x. When you differentiate tan, you get secant squared. And don't forget it's an implicit relation. So then you'd have secant squared times dy by dx. But if you take the derivative with respect to x to the right-hand side, you just end up with one. Now, all we're doing here is we're rearranged to make dy the dx the subject. So we have one over secant squared. Now, we always use this, this Pythagorean identity, that if we have sine squared plus uh, cos squared is equal to one, we can divide everything through by cosine squared. And that would be, so sine, sine squared over cosine squared is tangent squared. And cosine squared divided by cosine squared is one, but one over cosine squared is sec squared, secant squared. So therefore then what we'll do is we'll take that secant squared and we'll substitute in the tan squared plus one up here on the right. So that's why we get tan squared, tangent squared y plus one on the denominator. And earlier on, we defined that uh, tan y was equal to x. So if we square both sides of that, we'll get tan squared and that is the reason why we get x squared plus one. And that is the reason why when we differentiate arc tan of x, we get one over x squared plus one. Okay, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you wanna see more examples, let me know. Don't forget to like and comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.